In this video, I'm going to share with you guys my favorite must-have car tech accessory, the IATI Easy One Touch Wireless Fast Charge CD Mount. Finally, it took me like 14 times. Real quick thanks to IATI for sending out this charging mount for me to take a look at and share with you guys. If you end up being interested, check the description box down below for the link to this mount on Amazon. I'm in my car for an hour and a half a day, if not more, and that's for my commute to and from work. Having a cell phone mount is super convenient because it helps keep my eyes elevated and up towards the road in case I have to use my phone for maps or something like that. Having wireless charging built into this mount is just icing on the cake. The easy one touch CD mount does just that. It mounts via the CD slot in your car. I imagine this will work just fine for most people that have a CD slot in their car. The one thing that you need to keep in mind though is where the CD slot is in comparison to anything else inside of your car. And what I mean by that is I have a 2009 Mazda 3 where the CD slot is up towards the upper half of the dash. It's not in the way of anything other than the volume button for my stereo, which isn't a big deal because I have volume controls on the steering wheel. Um, but my wife's 2011 or 2012 Chevy Equinox, uh, the CD slot is actually inside of a cubby almost and recessed behind the shifter. So unless your car is in, in drive, you can't even really get to the mount in the first place. And then when you are using the mount, instead of being able to keep your eyes up and keep your head up towards the road, you will, would have to basically do one of these to look at your phone and then look back up. And that kind of defeats the purpose of having something elevated to keep you looking at the road. I've had zero issues with this mount moving or having any kind of trust issues with this mount, not being able to hold my Galaxy S8 Plus via the CD slot. This thing has been a champ and has worked out great. The coolest part of this mount is the easy one touch trigger system. And all you have to do to get your phone mounted in this mount is to push your phone up against this trigger button. And when you press that, the arms on this mount snap closed around your phone or not around your phone, but onto your phone. And with it simply just having kind of snapped on it, it actually holds your phone very snug and very tight. And I've not had any issues with my phone falling out of it at all. The arms and feet have a grippy rubber on them, which help keep your device held into place. The trigger button itself also has this same rubber on it, which helps hold your phone in place, but then also protects the back of your phone from getting scratched or anything like that from it constantly hitting that button. The actual back part of this mount looks like leather, but really it's just textured plastic. It's close. I mean, it, it looks fancy, but it's plastic. The mount itself is actually attached to a ball joint. So your phone can go from landscape to portrait, back to landscape, portrait with, a, with an extreme angle on it, really whatever you want it to be at, this mount can help facilitate that. The only thing that may get in the way is your dash and what your phone may or may not cover up when it's in the landscape versus portrait, etc. As mentioned before, there are feet on this mount and they're kind of dual purpose. So other than just helping hold your phone in place, they're also there to keep your phone at that right height to make sure that the Qi coil on the back of your phone is in the same spot of the Qi coil in the actual wireless charging pad itself so that your phone will actually wireless charge. This will be different from phone to phone based off of how tall your phone is or where the manufacturer may keep it. But once you have this mount zoned in with that specific spot on your phone and it works, you're never really gonna have to change it unless you put another phone in the mount. This mount is using Qi fast wireless charging. So even though you don't have a cable plugged into your phone, you're still getting a good rate of charge. My Galaxy S8 Plus is really starting to show its age when it comes to battery life. So every night on the way home from work, I have to either plug it into a charger or now put it into this wireless slot or this wireless, wireless slot, this wireless charger to top it off or to give it some type of battery just to get through my nighttime usage. Wireless charging, even though it's wireless fast charging, is slower than, wire, than wired fast charging. So with that being the case, I really didn't see enough of a difference to where the wireless wasn't worth it. I was seeing about a 10 to 15% difference in the amount of charge I got in my drive home. And for me, that's not a big deal. I'm okay with 70% battery when I get home. I don't need 80%, you know, 65 is okay most times. Not a big deal for me. And really the convenience factor of having this built into a mount almost makes that 10 to 15% you know, decrease worth it just because of the convenience when I'm using it when I drive home. The mount itself is of course still plugged in so that it can actually provide power to your phone. And that's done by a pretty decent car charger that has a four and a half foot long micro USB cable 
attached to it. I really wish that that cable, instead of being micro USB, was USB type C, meaning that the cable, or the, uh, the mount itself would have USB type C versus micro, um, mainly because wired charging is faster than wireless charging. If you're in a pinch and you need faster charging in the short period of time that you have, you can simply just unplug that cable from the back of the mount, plug it directly into your phone, and you're getting wired fast charging instead of wireless. Maybe in Gen 2, I don't know. That just seems like a pretty, pretty cool feature they could add just by simply changing the cable type. The car charger feels and looks like cheap plastic. I wish they would have spent a little bit more time on refining the design of the charger itself, but it's not really a deal breaker in the end. It does have a full-size USB type A port on it, so you can charge another device at the same time that you are charging your device wirelessly. I'm gonna be honest here, I didn't test this feature because I didn't really have a use for it, but if you need it or think you may need it, it's there. When your phone is docked and it's charging successfully, there is a green light on the dock itself. And I'll be honest, until I was specifically looking for it because I read about it in the user manual, I didn't even know that that light was there because you'll never see it. And you won't see it because it's on the dock itself behind your phone. I, that, that could have been changed. I, it's like a design oversight, I think. But again, not really a deal breaker. Um, that light will blink red though if for some reason your phone isn't charging because of some kind of incompatibility between it and the charger, that light will blink red so that you're aware of that. That maybe you would see, but I don't think you would see it in daylight regardless because your phone is simply blocking that LED. With it being so flipping hot outside right now because it is summer, having this mount be CD mounted is actually pretty great. And that's because with my car, the CD uh, slot, like I said before, is actually kind of higher on the dash, which means that the air vents are actually able to be aimed at the back of the charger, keeping the charger and my phone both cool, keeping it from overheating. I've used this mount to hold my phone, to charge my phone, to charge my phone while using Google Maps, and I've had zero issues with it at all. I have a Galaxy S8 Plus, like I've probably mentioned 14 times in this review so far, but I've actually got a slim case on the phone and also using a Ninja Loop behind it as well so that there's kind of two layers there between the mount itself of the charger and my phone, and it charges it no problems. With all of that said, I highly recommend the iAudi Easy One Touch Fast Wireless Charging CD Mount for anyone that has a wireless capable phone and that's in a car for any period of time. It keeps your eyes up towards the road and keeps your eyes out of your lap while also charging your phone at the same time. So win-win. If this video was helpful to you at all, please hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Would love to help you out in any way that I can. If you wanna see more consumer related tech reviews on tech that I use and enjoy, I think you will too hit that subscribe button. But until the next one, this is Aaron. Take care.